Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome to Aperture Tag. This is a Portal 2 mod, which is uh, pretty cool. It's very disconnected from everything we've done so far, but I really enjoy it, so let's go into it. And welcome to the Paint Gun Testing Initiative. You have been in hibernation for... Nine, 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 nine... Uh, that doesn't seem right. Well, it doesn't really matter. Please leave the restroom whenever you are ready. Okay. This is the Paint Gun Initiative. But we've got much to do, so please exit your room. Okay. You know... I don't even know room why they are giving you a bed. They will drag the test subjects into the stasis chambers anyways. And there's vending machines for Citranium. Which is pretty cool. It's a fake... ...drink... ...in this game. But anyway... A lot of interesting stuff around here. We can press this button. Uh, well... We've got long fall boots as well, luckily. After long periods of hibernation, the human body loses some of its strength. So, before we get to the paint gun testing, we should do some warm-up testing. Don't worry, nothing. Testing hasn't officially begun yet, so we're free to talk without anyone listening in on us. But your profile says you're not an early bird, so I understand if you don't want to talk at the moment. Yes. Cool. Okay. If we go up here, we can jump into the tractor beam. And zoom in and out of things. There's a portal up there. Oh, we're, looks like we need to go down here, though. Oh, that's lucky that that was strong enough to catch me. I don't think we could fall through, which is good. Uh, but anyway, we have a cube and a button. So let's put that on that. Creating a light bridge for us to get across here. That even if we are not testing yet, I am not allowed to mention anything that is mentioned in your profile. I hope they don't add this to my profile. Okay. Let's press that button to activate this portal here. So that we can go through the other portal. And get caught by this tractor beam. Interesting paintings of places. Ah, uh, but anyway, we have some turrets here that I probably want to take out. Like that. Let's bounce up here into the test chamber. Got some laser redirection cubes to use. So let's redirect all of that. Okay. And pick this up and I there we go. Will go without any problems. I can see it in you. Pick up the device and let the vacuum delivery system take us to the first test involving paint. Here we go! Okay, so we have the paint gun, which is going to be good for us. Can't do anything with it at the moment, but let's move forward. Also, I love hey, this delivery system. Don't worry, it'll all make sense as we progress. Um, hmm, let me see... there. Okay, just go through the door now. We have this, uh, these two light, uh, icons here to show what stuff will be activated when we go through the Fizzler. And we have only got the blue. 
Not the orange down the activated. Alright, why don't you try firing your gun? See what happens. So now that we got one through there, we can now shoot blue gel out of our paint gun. Don't have orange available to us because this fizzler doesn't allow that. And if we go back through the other side of the fizzler, it won't allow us to use it on the other side, so we can only use it if the fizzler activates the gun for us. Anyway, we get to test using gels as our primary thing. Now, this next chamber should offer more of a challenge for us. Should. But then I know what I'm doing. Ah, please. You can use your use control to stop bouncing as well, if we need to. Just that like in every other thing. Nice. Okay, um, maybe it's time to introduce myself. I'm Nigel, and I will be your testing associate for this testing track. Glad to meet you. Um, t test subject name here. Hmm. Guess you forgot to fill that out. Don't worry, I'll get that checked. Anyway, we go through the pipes to get to where we need to go. Also, I, uh, the music was coming from the speakers that were placed around. Okay, blue gel. Yes, so we get to place all that up there. This is such a cool idea. Just putting the group everywhere to get around. It's slightly less complicated than uh, Portal 2, I guess. But it's also, it's, it's pr pretty cool. Although we haven't got very far yet, so I, I'm assuming they're going to make things a little bit more complicated. But anyway, let's go across here like this. Whoop. Let's go up here as well. Although I feel like I'm going to have a little bit of trouble with this, possibly. Yeah. Please let me up. Thank you. That music's loud. Oh, please. Nope. I messed up. That's fine. Whoop. That works. Quite well, actually. Okay. And now, we have all of this here. And I think I need to spray the ground to actually get this to work right. So let's jump and bounce off of that all the way down there. Of course, that's going to help us get all the way up here. I realize that painting is all good and fun, but cleaning that stuff up is horribly expensive. So just please only spray where you think is necessary. Our Aperture Science sentient washing servos will thank you. Okay, what's next? Jumping training course. It will teach you, ideally, how to navigate through future test chambers. Okay. Well, let's get around. We also can't place the group onto glass or stuff like uh, grill grates or stuff like that. So it has to be actual platform or walls to actually place on it. But anyway, let's keep spraying everything with group and gel. Okay, let's go. Please land on the platform, thank you. Okay, I was a little bit scared there, but it's okay. Let's just spray along all that. All of that. This is just so cool. Also, that there, that beam of light there is a, uh, that's the, it's this line of, uh, power line things. I don't know what to call them. Uh, but it's just in a, a form that can take, can travel across a 3D area, basically. In through the air. So that activates that platform down there. Which means now that if we don't bounce our way too far, we slide down this thing here, we'll bounce off of that I automatically. I love that final there we go. Looks really fun. Sometimes I wish I had legs so I could do what you do, but then I remember the other things we do to test subjects. I, uh, That's probably should good. have said that. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yes, fine. Okay, what's this? Look at this! I just looked at the documentation for these big monitors. Let me show you myself. Sweet, isn't it? 
Now you can look at me. So it's not as creepy knowing you're being watched, because you can watch me too. How cool is that? Oh, the door. Um, get that for you. How did you get there? That's my question. But anyway, hello, Nigel. And the song. Good luck. Okay. Let's bounce across here. Carefully, 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 carefully. I'm gonna slow down for a second. Just jump up normally. It's fine. Ah, uh, we can also group the cube to do crazy stuff with that, I suppose. What does that activate? That activates that up there. So I need to go up this way. If I can. And be careful as I go through. Um, so hang on. Let's just group that from over here. Allowing us to go up here. Okay. I could also move the cube, I guess. I should probably have done that, actually. Instead of what I'm doing right now. Actually, I need the cube. So, um... Let me see if I can go back and get that, then. Not like that. Let's try that again. Grab the cube. Well, actually, I probably don't want it grouped, so let me drop that in there. Give me a new cube. Okay. Now, can I actually take this back with me? I can. Good. Be careful. Okay, so we can go up this way now without having to worry about the cube doing its own thing. Just like that. Let's group up all of that. Put all of that over there if I can. I don't know how much I need to group everything. Okay, Joel everywhere. And now maybe... <laughs> it's fine. Okay, let's bounce at this wall. We should bounce it back over this way. All the way over here. Good. We can put the cube on that now. So now we have that. We can just go up here. But we also need to have the button down there activate the door. So, once we get over here, let's just get down. We can also put the group into the the funnel, which is cool. But let's just group up that cube, and now it's going to die by bouncing away off the edge somewhere, eventually. There we go. Now respawn down there, giving us our exit. Hee! <laughs> You got disabled. Oh. Cool. I guess it's fine. It's so fine. Stop watching me while I'm in the tube, please. Nigel. Please. I just love how this is the way we travel, though. Using the funnels, pulling us through. You will have to use all the skills you've learned in the previous chambers. Let me put some ambient music on to get us in a good puzzle-solving mood. Good luck. Okay. Well, we have also got turrets that I probably want to take out. So let's do that for a start. Those are very loud. Ah, uh, but now we need that cube. So let's go grab that. Careful not to bounce off of everything and die. Now, what does that do? That activates the light bridge up here, which means we can put group onto the light bridge. Ooh, careful. Very careful. So careful. Up we go. Now, I need to head over there. What's the... I guess there's a few ways I could get across, but I think this is the way I want to get across here. Is just to gel up that wall and then jump into here and bounce off of that, and we're good. Okay. That activates funnels. There and there. Which means we can shell group things, I guess. No, maybe. Uh, although, maybe. Oh, I see. Let's group up that cube. It's down the switch here. Because when the cube respawns up there, it'll go into the funnel. And we can grab it. Give it to me. Okay, so now we can use this to go up this way. Which I probably want to group up the ground here. So there we go. 
Let's go up. And we need that laser re redirection cube, so let's bounce off that. Please, thank you. Let's grab this. Now we need to head back across here. All the way. I think I can leave that cube there, probably. Um, hang on. I need to goop the ground. No, 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 no. Please tell me it's not gooped. I don't think it is, but I think it bounced off of the ground, so it's scary, so. Jump. And bounce out of bounds. Not where I'm supposed to be, but that's cool that you can be up there. Anyway, let's just put this aimed at that. Yes, I can. There we go. Cool. Nope. Ah, it's fine. Well, where are we going? Going a long way through here. It's interesting that they built all these tubes down here. Oh, we're going up a long way. Up a long way. Wow. Hey, elevator. Imagine using one of those with this thing. Okay. Aperture science. Oh, we're going all the way up. All the way to new aperture. Okay, new aperture. So it turns out that the vacuum tube I gave you for the previous test does not connect to the next test chamber. So we are going to have to walk for a little bit. Okay, well I can do that. Oh hey, this is just here, I guess. Oh hello. I recognize this test. It was supposed to be solved with a portal gun. Wicked stuff. I'm sure there's a way we could solve it in our way. Yeah, definitely. So I don't think I can get in here, can I? No, but I can look in here. I don't know how the scientists would get in there, but it's okay. I must have got up here, I guess. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, is there another one? No, I think that's up there that I came from, so... Cool, but anyway. We actually have to solve a Portal 2 test using the paint gun. So let's do that. Well, it's like, actually, it's a Portal test. But anyway, let's go up here like that. Put this cube on the switch. And let's keep going. Okay. I love how it opens the portal there, even though we can't do anything with that. Okay. Let's go up, please. Thank you. First one. Okay, second one, just like that. Oh, this is already broken in here. Nicely done. Oh, also, I have done it better myself. Now we have to find a vacuum delivery system to get you to the next test chamber. I don't think it's this, this way. Is malfunctioning. We are looking for a vacuum delivery system. The door is rigged to open when the subject walks through the corridor. I should have probably prevented that from happening. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, well, anyway, we can also go out of bounds here. Look up here. Unreason. Fairly normal stuff. Do not enter. Okay, I won't. Just need to bounce up through here, please. Like that. And then I guess I can just bounce my way up the walls. Like that. Cool. Okay, thank you. I'm glad he knows where everything is here. Let's jump in and go. Whoop, this way. Down again? What? How dare you? I like new aperture. As cool as old aperture is, I, I, new aperture is really cool. 
Okay. Now this test does make use of portals as a testing element. If you've never bumped into them before, they're pretty straightforward. Thingy goes in, thingy goes out. Thingy goes in, thingy goes out. Okay. Uh, notice. Ignore. Uh, experiment discontinued. Keep testing. Okay, cool. Uh, does this tell me what this is? No. But it's just a regular one, so that works out well for me. Also, hey, there's a elevator shaft here. That I can look at, I guess. Now, we need to figure this out. Have a button that pushes this up here like this. Which means we can jump through the portal. Which uh, does something for us. As long as I have everything set up correctly. Uh, but also I need to go back across this way because I need to do something else with this button here. Oh, okay. I need that cube. I didn't see that cube over there. I don't know how, but I didn't. Okay, so let's take this cube. And put this on the button so we can do some other things. That actually changes where the blue portal is. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, then I can do this. And now I'm over here. So let's go up here. And... Okay, we need to be very precise with this. Let's jump up through here. Go through the portal. Break that. Go bounce off of that. And here we are. Nothing out of this world. It's time to increase the complexity just by one variable. Hmm, I'm gonna go up here because this is not where I'm supposed to be. Elevator? Nope. Okay. It's interesting that I can get up here though. I don't think there's anywhere else I can get to by doing this though. Nope, can't get any higher than that. Still. Ah, please. Okay, where are we going? This is a very complicated pipe system. Speed gel upgrade. Okay. Okay. Seems like an interesting area here. Remember, she is watching. Okay. Let's activate that. Now let's head back this way because the fizzler should be online now. No, it isn't. Uh, it opens up this door here. And this one opens up the fizzler. Okay. Do not trust her. Security something our only hope okay those are very loud cubes as well now use your gel gun to actually get to the testing site out there in the gorge but now we have orange gel and we can run on it which is cool so let's just set up this here and let's run and jump we can even keep this going and go all the way over here where are you? Why do you have trophies just behind you and behind you next to you? I don't know. Why do you have trophies in general? Its official name is the Aperture Science Cold Work Apparatus. We should simply call it the Crusher. Phew. Nicely done. You know? I did it. We have one guy whose only job is to name all the Aperture Science patented devices. He even came up with that term. Hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. But anyway. We now have the orange gel, which means we can run fast on it. But we don't have the blue gel now, so we can't bounce around quickly. But it all depends. It all depends. Nothing special. The average human doesn't have the reaction times required for this test, so I will shout out the directions you've got to go. This really helps out with survival rates. In theory, okay, cool. Ready when you are. Cool, thank you. Uh, but anyway, the it all depends on what the Phyllis's lights are on. Okay, let's go. Speed. Are we Quick, left, turn. left turn. Ah, okay. Right turn. 
Want to right turn? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh dear. Too slow. Ah! I don't know why I was trying to make it sound like I need to go fast, but anyway. Let's try this again. I can just take my time here, so... Might as well just group up all of that. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is just silly now. <laughs> why you no work? I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe if I... Jump off of this platform here. Like that, cool, and group all this. Impossible chop ahead. You flying around all over the place and I tell you how to get there. I should get the guys up here to do more tests like this. Yeah, definitely. Can I go on the pipe please? Thank you. <laughs> but anyway, that's uh, that's really cool that you can run across the slight slanted surfaces like that. All the way around doing all of the degree angles. Oh hey, ruined aperture. Both blue and orange, good. Okay, which means we can also do stuff like that. We put a little bit of blue on the end of an orange runway. Launching ourselves to victory. I love, I love having both gels. Just so, so good. Okay, bounce. And these speakers should have music playing. Which they do. Uh, where am I going? This way. I think. Probably. Need to make sure I have this runway set up properly. And let's bounce off of this. And then blue gel that to bounce off of that. We're good to go. Okay, we just need to do the same thing over here. Again. Okay. Fling ourselves. Not sure if you noticed, but we are now on the upper levels of Aperture Science. No more recycling tests. It's all brand new from now on. I did notice that. I like the uh, the new look. It's always a good thing. Okay. Um, this test did not have a connected vacuum delivery system. I want to remind you that these tests are still in an alpha state. <sighs> you are just making this me do all the work. Hard to nail down on the first try, so I drained out the goo. So don't be afraid if you fall down. Use the stairs to Oh, thank you. Down. Yeah, cool, thank you. Gonna make this one easy. Now, let's see, I think this way. Go up this way. Please. Good. Okay. And we need to activate this to go forward. It's fine, is what it is. Can't take the goop through there. But we can go up here. And place the goop out here from here. Allowing us to get further up this way. Just need to group up that one last platform. Like that, cool. And let's head back. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Up please. Thank you. Up again. And then up here. Alright, we've made it to the track. One mystery solved. Unfortunately, I cannot drain that goo. So, change of plans. Be careful. So we accidentally turned the goop back on and now it's there. Anyway, we need to group up uh, the blue, blue gel up this uh, platform here in the middle as much as possible. And let's get ourselves a launch pad thing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, but anyway, we need to time this just right now, so that we bounce off of this in the right direction. That's not the right direction. This is sad. So we need to the blue gel up this whole thing here, and we need this pat this uh launching strip here. 
Okay. Just a little bit at the end. Okay, and then at this point, probably, we can bounce off of that. Almost. It's just a little bit later than that. Okay. It's a little bit later than completely flat. Okay, go. Bounce over that to victory. Science, I thought our testing spree has come to an end. Proceed to the next chamber. Okay. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.